our, our host said in his opening remarks so, so eloquently, he said, he talked about private belief and public citizenship. Mm -hmm. I want to suggest that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Belief is not private. Mm -hmm. There is no Jew, there is no Christian, there is no Hindu, there is no Muslim who holds their deep religious and ethical principles as private preferences. You know, me, I like the color red, I like to drive an Audi, and I'm a Methodist. You know, those are my choices. Or, you know, I like to live in France, uh, I like good wine, and despite that, I am a Muslim. You know, it's not, it, those are not a set of choices. Our religious convictions run deep and are necessarily public. And that's where the problem begins, because Religion is public in character. We belong to religious communities with religious principles, and that compels us as members of a religion to have a public stance, and that's what has been so difficult in Europe, I think, because in the United States, the thing we have said is that religion is public. You can be in the public square as long as you're not in City Hall, but civil society, which is public, includes religion. Whereas I think in Europe the notion is somehow religion has to be kept private. Laïcité in France is an attempt to privatize religion in order to keep it out of the state. Absolutely. And that has led to the kinds of difficulties that we've seen uh, in France and Holland and elsewhere. If you want to know if the society functions well, look at the situation of women oh. in it. Le problème essentiel the essential des fanatiques, problem maintenant je parle pas du tout des musulmans for fanatics normaux, I'm not mentioning yes. mainstream Muslims c'est le sexe is sex ils sont obsédés par le They're sexe de la femme obsessed by the woman's sex mm. et tout ça pourquoi on, on, il faut que la femme euh, ne touche pas à ma femme ne touche it's pas à ma sœur don't touch my, my wife don't touch my mère, sister don't touch my mother ma voisine, don't touch sont, my neighbor ça, ça veut dire que Ils ont un tel problème, ils ont une telle peur de, de la femme qu'ils veulent la couvrir, la fermer, la mettre sous terre. Et tant qu'ils n'ont pas résolu ce problème and psychologique, et as 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 psychologique parce que problem, tout tourne autour de la femme. Because everything is is turning around this, the woman. Mais, mais, mais les, les, la religion juive aussi hein, elle est, 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 est chrétienne a also in, in Jewish and Christian religion méfiante des femmes les these femmes were also ont very toujours wary été perçues women. comme le, 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 la source du mal absolu they were all, Donc, always perceived as the source of absolute nous, evil il faut, faut qu'on puisse avoir l'intelligence so quand même have the intelligence de, d'avoir des convictions religieuses to have religious convictions ou de ne pas les avoir or to not mais have them, de distinguer but entre to make qui a est le droit des individus the et puis la croyance qui est de l'ordre de la that stems from faith or irrational that must not be inscribed within a constitution. The problem women have is not with religion, it's yes. with men. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and you know, it doesn't matter what particular religion they are. Just, just one quick statistic, one quick statistic. Let me give you a quick secular, a secular statistic. The number of wife beatings and wife murders that have happened on Super Bowl Sunday yes. accelerate a lot. That's you true. know, football true. is an American religion, true. perhaps, true. but the fact is, you know, to attribute the oppression of women, discrimination against women, simply to this or that religion, or even to a fundamentalist form of the religion, is to forget that the problem is universal and can be found in many, many different forms. And it's another, I believe the danger is, I mean, I, of course you're right, fundamentalist religion has that problem, but of it course. becomes another form of slander against religion yes. by those who don't really care about women, but are looking, I mean, it always surprises me that some of the most piggish American men I know suddenly get very concerned about the fate of women when it comes to Islam. <laughs> you know, they say, oh, wow, those Muslims, yeah. they just don't know how to treat women well. And so on. so we don't want it to become, right. have it become an excuse for another slander uh, against uh, religion. Just, but what's interesting, actually, is that in many Muslim countries, Muslim street movements are democratic, mm. and the state is secular authoritarian. True. True. Where President Obama gave his speech in Cairo. Yeah, we have a secularist regime, in effect, and the Muslim Brotherhood, yeah. whether or not they mean it, acts as a kind of in-the-street, radical, democratic uh, movement. And in Iraq, Mr. Hussein, the Ba'athists, were secularists. Yes. And as we know now, the Shia uh, are coming out in a much more religious way. In Syria today, the Ba'athists are still in power, and it's a secular regime. If you want to go someplace that is really afraid of Islam, yes. go to Damascus. True. Because there, the ruling party is deathly afraid uh, of Islam 
in the street. And even we know in Palestine, the difference between the more secular PLO and Hamas is in part, you know, a democratically elected Hamas, which however looks Islamicist or fundamentalist to a lot of the seculars to worry about it. So one of the ironies is that in many parts of the Islamic world, <coughs> secularism is the voice of authoritarianism and authoritarian modernization. Absolutely.